Um, Donnie Hay was born um, on the north side of Chicago, Illinois. He had brown eyes and black curly hair, like an afro. Um, he had one full sister and one half brother. He grew up in Chicago. Um, his mom was from Chicago and his dad from, was from Minnesota. Here's a picture of him and his brother. And here's um, a picture of him and his sister. Um, Donnie's dad left when he was young, but him and his sister still went to stay with family on his dad's side in Minnesota over the summer. Um, he went to Jameson Elementary School where he became friends with a boy named Todd. Him and Todd hung out a lot with Todd's older brother, Scott. Here's a, here's a picture of him and his sister during the summer. Um, and here's a picture of all three of them, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Donnie's first band was when he was around 14 years old with his friend Todd. Scott influenced them a lot as Scott was a Scott was a very skilled guitar player. Donnie used to go down to Maxwell Street to play guitar, which is which is what many blues and rock musicians did at the time. Maxwell Street is pretty much just like an open air flea market. Here's a photo of him playing his bass guitar um, at Maxwell Street. He's a very good bass player. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a bass is, it's just like a type of guitar. Um, he's a pretty he was pretty much a natural and picked up songs very fast. Um, he couldn't read music, but could listen to the music and then play it. He was in five or so professional bands. Um, he had a band named a band named American Seed in early in the early '90s and played shows. He was also in an AC/DC tribute band called Sin City for a while. He was in two bands with his friend Todd. The first one was named Bull. He, he graduated from Mather High School. Um, it's amazing that he got through school because his mom left to, she moved to like somewhere in like the, um, the Middle East with her boyfriend when he was 16. He had to live on the streets for a little bit. And then he stayed with a good friend of his named Jimmy until he graduated. He could have, he could have just dropped it out and gave up, but he didn't because he knew how important it was to get through school. This is um, a picture of the school he went to, Mather High School, and this is a picture of him and his mom. After high school, he got a job tuck pointing brick buildings with his uncle and cousins. This is a skill that he used throughout, his, throughout the rest of his life. In case someone doesn't know what tuck pointing is, the definition of tuck pointing is um, point brickwork with colored mortar as so as to have a narrow groove which is filled with fine line putty allowed to project slightly. He started getting gray hair when he was young and he didn't want to waste money dyeing it. So instead he tried shaving it and um, that just worked out, so he just started doing that. Um, when we were younger, me and my brother used to rub his head because we just like to feel the spikes on top of his head, I guess. Uh, there's a picture of him with hair, and then, and then those, that's a picture of him with the spikes on top of his head. Um, he had a few odd jobs, but in his late 20s or 30s, him and his brother started a 24-hour towing business called Northside Performance Towing. Donnie would drive during the day, and his brother Butch would drive at night. They later on split up, but they had they had different tow trucks, but the same business name. Here's a picture of a car he's towed and a picture of a motorcycle. Um, a few a few years later, he decided he didn't want to tow anymore. He wanted to start something else, but didn't want something that would require him to start from the bottom. But he is already 40 years old, so he kept towing. 
as a girl, as a teen, he met a girl named <laughs> he met a girl named Carla. She already had a daughter. Her her daughter had cerebral palsy and had to be in a wheelchair. They had a son named Zach, but split when Zach was young. This is a picture of Zach, and this is a picture of him and my dad. Later on, he met my mom, uh, Leanne. They met at Howard Street Inn, where she worked as a waitress. Um, these two pictures are of Donnie and Leanne. On July 19, 2004, uh, five, 2005, <laughs> I was born in Palatine, Illinois, the same year the White Sox won the World Series, and the White Sox was my dad's favorite baseball team. Uh, these two pictures are of me and my dad. That one was the first picture of me and my dad. Uh oh, mom, I forgot to ask. I forgot to ask you what my brother's birthday was, but I didn't. This one? I don't know his birthday. September twenty-first. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. On September twenty-first, uh, two thousand seven, my brother was born in Rock Rapids, Iowa. Um, these two pictures are of him and my dad. My mom lost her job and had to move back to Iowa after a few years. Um, my mom and dad broke up, but me and Keegan still got to see, still got to go see him in Chicago. These are pictures of me and Keegan and my dad. Uh, sadly, on July 21st, 2018, he passed away after a motorcycle accident. These are a few pictures from the funeral. Uh, that's it. That's all. Okay.